Good morning everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to a Sunday vlog. How are we all? It's February and I'm most happy about it. I'm with Zara. Hi. <laughs> Zara is feeling a lot more alive, which I've is great. I've had two weeks of being on death's door. Yeah, you haven't been very well at all. No, I have had 56 antibiotic tablets. I now rattle when I move. Sarah had, Sarah had um, a bad case of sinusitis, which um, meant she had to go to the doctor. She was really, you were really apprehensive about going to the doctors, weren't you? Because yeah, they are. I felt so bad. I yeah. said that to him. I was like, I don't want to waste your time. Yeah, they're stretched at the minute. Um, I mean, they're stretched all the time, but it was pretty bad for Sarah. So um, yeah, they said it was down to her nasal airways not being able to filter out the pollution. <laughs> which is not good considering we live in London, but we thought it'd be a good idea to head out of London today uh, It's a beautiful day. It feels like spring is in the air. So we're gonna head to a place called uh, Box Hill in Surrey, which is a gorgeous walk. It's gonna be about I say about a 10 mile hike in total around um, 10 miles. Yeah, I haven't left the house very much in two weeks and now I'm doing 10 miles. <laughs> well the whole the whole thing is about 10 so we, we could just pick and choose how much we want um, and then yeah we can maybe have a little look around some places in Surrey afterwards for a little coffee. So yeah Maggie's in back she's all strapped in. Can you sit down please? Do you know what I really fancy? Hot chocolate. Yeah actually I hadn't thought about that one. Say hello some Maggie. Chips. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I fancy chips too. Yeah uh, chips are fries if you're from the US. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so we're gonna head to Surrey and have a really, really lovely Sunday. So we've made it. Maggie's very excited. <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> it was about 45 minutes in total, but um, lots of people are out on a Sunday. It's seemingly the thing to do is to walk around Box Hill. Um, it's a national trust, so very lovely. You ready? Yeah, just getting my big stretch of it. There's a nice little coffee shop here too, so we might be able to get a hot drink once we've finished. So we've got a juniper top trail, a riverside walk, and a stepping stones walk, or the hilltop stroll, so lots of different ones that we can do. One of my things I wanted to do this year more of was hikes and treks and trails around the UK because there's so many of them um, and it's obviously just allowing yourself the time to do it so yeah this is one ticked off the list. I've also packed my backpack with hiking snacks. We've got uh, an apple, an orange and two diet corks if we need the, the energy and sustenance. <laughs> I always find you get like an hour in. She's fine. I always find you get like an hour in and then you, you need like that energy burst, you know? Mikey doesn't. We found the juniper berries. So these are, what flavor? Gin, specifically London dry gin. Gorgeous flavor. Not sure if you can pick wild juniper, but I imagine you can. But yeah, amazing. I actually stayed in Denby's wine estate, which is what we drove past towards Box Hill um, in summer last year, and it was amazing. And Denby's produce English sparkling wine, which is really delicious as well, so yeah. So he is the head of a lot of production of delicious foods, cheeses as well. Maggie is suitably excited, <laughs> ready to go. Feels very spring-like today, even though I've got my hat on, I don't think I'll have to keep it on very long at all, it's gorgeous. We are so lucky, they're literally 45 minutes from London and we can access this. What a view of Surrey. It's no wonder they call it the area of outstanding natural beauty, isn't it? Very green. Maggie's raring to go. Sarah's found the cows. Maggie just met the cows. She didn't bark, which is really good. She's quite intrigued. So I've just checked on my watch and we are nearly two miles in. I haven't really got like a set destination or a set route um, or a set distance. We're just walking until I kind of get a bit tired. But it's a gorgeous day I've had to do later because it's rather warm, which is nice for February, early February, the sun is shining. Zara, how are you doing? I'm breathing. Good. Breathing's always a good idea. Absolutely beautiful. Stopping for a hydration break for Maggie. A little sip. And a hydration break for us too. So we've decided to head back now. We are currently at two o'clock. We're about two hours in. 
And um, where did you walk it for? Yeah, we got here at midday. Oh. Yeah, um, it's a beautiful deer, but we want to swing by. We drove by a lovely uh, garden centre and we're going to go to Denby's because Zara's never been before. And um, it's just nice and they've got a nice little um, garden shop there, like a deli counter and bits and bobs. So yeah, it's beautiful. And we obviously don't want to lose the deer light because it is still winter, even though today feels very spring. The great thing is there's a Box Hill Cafe as well. We finished up the walk. It's a great little place to pitch up if you don't want to sit on the hill. Imagine there'd be nice little foods and bits and bobs in there too. It's gorgeous. We've now arrived at Denby's Wine Estate. Um, like I, said, I came here at uh, summertime with Waitrose and stayed overnight. I'll link that vlog up there. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a little look in at the farm shop and see if we can get a little bite to eat. I love these little hanging garlic and onions, they look so cool. <laughs> I've let them look great in, um, in the kitchen. Maggie's having a sniff. I've got some lovely rhubarb as well. Kale, potatoes. I do love a farm shop. They've got all of their chutneys and jams. Gorgeous. Debbie's, I think they must be a local producer. Stunning. All the sparkling wines. Oh, you could spend so much money in here. <laughs> Got some lovely coffee here too. Big bags of Colombian coffee. Surrey Hills coffee. It's great. Maggie's just watching the three black Labradors walk by. <laughs> so many Labradors here, aren't there? <laughs> These are all the bits and bobs I just got in the shop. I got some Wessex Mill strong white bread flour to make some bread later. Oh, did you buy some Denby's wine? No, Go on. We bought some snacks for the car, some sweet chili cashew nuts, some Sussex cheese onion crisps, whoops, and some free range duck eggs to have for breakfast. This looks lovely. I have tried Denby's wine and this is lovely. I'm vlogging on my iPhone today. Um, let me know what you think of the quality and the sound because this is lovely. I just start. <laughs> I just started it on my camera, but then I'm using my iPhone because my camera's in my backpack. Anyway. Don't worry about it, I'll find it. We're trying these Sussex Charmer cheese and spring onion crisps. They are so good. They taste like proper good, like you guys would call these chips, but mmm. Mmm. Can I show the world my nails? You like though. These are my nails. Valentine's Day nails. They are very lovely. Thanks. And then we bought some of these Pembroke sweet chili. Um, peanuts and cashews and they are delicious. Anyway, mm, good car fuel. The drive back to London, but we're going to stop off at a garden centre en route. I think we need more food. Mm. Just having a look in the garden centre on the way back and uh, taking in some of the outdoor plants. They've got sills on pots and whatnot, which are really good. We don't need anything for the balcony because we've learned our lesson, but an indoor plant would be quite nice. Got a sale on some nice candles, five pounds. They look lovely. Just looking at some of the house plants and I think I'm going to go for this one here, it'll look lovely in the kitchen. It's a beautiful colour as well and hope that that'll grow and hang down near the sink. One new house plant secured. If I don't kill this one, I'll be very happy. <laughs> we're gonna head back to London now. Right, we're back from the walk and Denby's and we're just gonna have a nice little cup of tea. I'm having a lemon and ginger one, so I was just going for a classic. Thank you. Oh, we're very steamy. So this is the plant. <laughs> to replace this. I really thought I could bring it back to life, but I just couldn't. It was just not for me to do. So yeah, don't know what I did wrong, but I definitely did something wrong. Anyway, I will repot and retry. And then we're gonna make some bread in just a moment. Just pop it in the bread maker. I love the bag of this, it looks so nice. Right, job number one. Well, it's not really a job, but I am kind of looking forward to this. So this lamp I actually got from a vintage shop in uh, Hartlepool, where I'm from. And we've recently had a swap around of all of the lampshades. I love doing this in the home, like shopping your home of what you already have and moving things in different spaces just to make a change, but also just, you know, it's just nice to do it. So I think this looks really nice here. And I've had these pictures in my bedroom for quite some time. I've got them in the charity shop. You can see they're a little bit dusty, but I think they'd look really nice next to this print here. So this is Crudités Tart and Fondant. This is a menu I got from a supper club that I just framed. And obviously this is the Campari print that we got in Venice. Um, so I think they'd look really nice there. I think like the green with the pink and the print would look super lovely. And I've got this picture here from what I got at Sunbury Antiques with you and second 
antique oil paint. And so I think it actually all tied together beautifully. So I'm gonna use some command strips and pop them up and see what we think. So this is my little organizer that we have and we've got everything in here that we need for from a little plier, batteries, locks. So I'm gonna use some command strips and stick it on the wall. I think that could look quite cool. Yeah. I think it's slightly smaller. Yeah, it is. They're not the oh, same. Oh, no, it's fine. Sorry. Here we are. This is our little corner. I actually really, really like this. What we do is whenever we use the microwave, we just move the fruit bowl just because, you know, it's not good to have that on there. But I think that looks really nice. It really fills the space out. Very pleased with that. And yeah, these are just charity shop prints. Love the green as well. It's a very nice contrast with the white. So we're now making some bread and Zara's getting to use the bread machine. That'll be all of that. And this is my bread machine. I can't remember if I've ever shared this. On here, it's the Panasonic automatic bread machine, and it has 32 different bread settings, which is so so good. Um, little yeast, fruit, and nut dispenser on top. It's honestly such an easy machine to use. You literally just type in what you want, and you do a little time delay, small, medium, or large loaf. If you want it like a nice darker crust, and that's it. We've just that second had an Amazon delivery arrive. We are trying to be a bit more environmentally conscious, um, and ordered these for um, like takeaway coffees. Um, I'm gonna actually protect have these. Protect the teeth. Yeah, protect the teeth as well. Try to, you know, reduce staining. So, um, yeah, these are on Amazon. I'll link them down below. Honestly, I'm gonna be walking around the letters. <laughs> it kind of matches your... Uh, watch that. Love that. Um, but yeah, they're thermos cups as well, so they keep the drinks hot as well as um, cold. So they'll be really, really good. You know what I just realized it matches as well? My phone work case. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> An unintentional match, but yeah, going to be very good. We'll give them a little wash. Also, speaking of things that we ordered, these are from Cherries. I know this isn't revolutionary, but having this like vitamin decanter is so good. I like labeled it as well. So yeah, I just obviously I've got my Rituals vitamins in here, which I've spoke about before. I have my uh, Omega 3 fish oil, uh, B3. is isn't sure if you're vegetarian or vegan. It's like what you get from animal products. And I have a one for my skin as well from Beauty Pie. It's the Like Sun Vitamin, which is really good just for uh, the darker winter months when there is no sun, and just to try and help your skin. We are making a jackfruit uh, chili con carne for dinner. So I'm gonna roast some jackfruit and then get the chili going. And then we're gonna have that with some rice and some tortilla chips. So we're starting the chili off with some jackfruit. This um, is a really good option if you are not wanting to eat meat. Uh, you can just roast it and pull it apart. It's like pulled pork, it's gorgeous. I've got some chipotle paste that I need to use up, some chili powder, cayenne pepper, onion granules. I've got some small, sorry, my SD card just filled up. Garlic granules and uh, yeah, that's it. Sprinkle them all over and roast it for about half an hour. Okay, the chili is blipping away. I have added the mixed beans and kidney beans and tomato sauce, veg stock, peppers. I'm just gonna leave that to reduce on the hob and the jackfruit is roasting in the oven. The trick to a good chili con carne coffee. If you have an espresso machine, use espresso. I've added some dark chocolate. It just works. You don't taste the coffee, but what you do get is a really nice depth of like smoky flavor. It's gorgeous. I'm just did look at all of our little bits that we've kind of like put together in this kitchen. It was just a white bland box when we moved in and even like the little pasta jars and the scales. It's all very nice. All that rice is going to overboil. Oops. These lid sids are great. They are so good. They just keep the lid slightly ajar. So yeah. And I've tried the chili and it has got a kick. It is so good. Right, we're plating up. We've got some lovely steamed rice. God, oh, I was supposed to stir some coriander through this. Never mind. It's okay. It's literally ready in like half an hour. It's so good. Oh, that looks so, so good. See, it's Thickened got green up. in it now. It means it's good for us. <laughs> right, <laughs> serving it up. Gorgeous. And there's loads of leftovers as well, so it's perfect for chili nachos. You can stir it through pasta. There we are. Beautiful. Dinner is served. I've just finished it off with some sour cream and a little jalapenos and some tortilla chips on the side. Maggie is all cozied up by the fire, she is just keeping nice and snug. And this is the cushion that Zara finished. She started this last year, and um, this is actually made yeah, it from- like it took really long, <laughs> when you say last year. I mean, it was last Towards year. the end of last year. Um, this is actually made out of Maggie's old dog bed she had since she was a puppy. She's nearly two this year, so 
It lasted a while. Go the mile. Yeah. It it's got her name on yeah. it. So she cut it actually coincidentally to the full width of her new dog bed. So Maggie kind of just has a little cushion now. You kind of wedge it in to the side like that, and she just loves it. So she is snug as a bug right near the fire. Dinner was absolutely delicious, by the way. It was so so good. There's a whole tub full of leftovers for um, nachos tomorrow, which is so good. Right guys, I'm gonna end my vlog. Oh, let me show you my plant. So this is the plant pot I'm gonna pop it in. I think it might be just the right size for now, just to get a couple more leaves on it. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Although I was gonna put it in this slightly larger pot, so I might do that, just to give it a bit more room. But um, I love it, I think it looks so cool. I'm really happy with a nice little addition to the kitchen. The bread has 39 minutes left and the kitchen already smells so good. It's currently 20 to 10, so it'll be ready just after 10 o'clock. Let me show you the bread bag we bought. I ordered this bread bag off of the internet. It was from Amazon. Um, it was like four pounds. It's really big actually, look at the size of that, it's huge. It's like a drawstring linen bag. But the idea is that you pop your bread inside it and then you can just Keep it nice and tight, fold it over, and then keep that in your bread bin. Just so you don't have to use cling film. There we are, the bread is done. Honestly, this bread maker brings me so much joy. I usually leave it to cool in the tin for about five minutes before I tip it out. Oh my god, the kitchen smells so good. Okay, I am just getting ready for bed. I'm a firm believer that like, Good skincare, good sleep, goes hand in hand. So I really try and look after my skin. I'm so looking forward to just a nice, good sleep after walking and getting some real fresh air, ready for a new week. I feel like Sunday evenings are the best time to like reset. I've been enjoying this poor remedy. It's like a acid toner. You're only supposed to use it three days in a week because it's quite intense. So I usually tend to use it on a Monday, Wednesday and Sunday. You just run it over your skin. Kind of like gives you a glow when you wake up. We just finished watching episode one of Your Honor and it is so, so good. So we watched the first season, I think in 2020. It's amazing. And we just started the second season and it's incredible. Also this Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. It's like a drink of water to your skin. It's so, so, so good. Again, a little bit expensive, but like liquid gold for your skin. Oh, my camera battery's flashing, just need to change that. And then for a nighttime moisturizer, I'm using the Temple Spa Aromatherapy Resting Cream. It's like a really nice, nourishing, thick cream. And I use it quite liberally on the cheeks and my head. I'll take it down my neck as well. So hydrating. And Temple Spa products are like the most relaxing scent. It has like eucalyptus, lavender, which is just so good. And then for an eye serum, I use the Vichy Eye Mineral, which is like a really light serum. I use just like two pumps around the eye area, using my little fingers just to pat it in. I don't know why I'm giving you a skincare routine. Like this is just <laughs> me talking through what I do. There we are, that's me ready for bed. I am about 200 pages into A Little Life and yeah, the reviews were correct. It is a tricky read. I'm enjoying it, but it's it's a tough read. Um, and then yeah, other things I use to get a really good night's sleep. The This Works Pillow Spray is incredible. I spoke about this so much. I use an eye mask because I feel like it helps me so much to get to sleep. The L'Occitane um, Creme Mains, which is such good hand cream. And then the Mallowin and Goetz uh, Lip Moisturizer, again, really good for on an evening. <laughs> I promise I'm not high maintenance. I just like looking after myself, you know? So this is Future Luke sat editing this vlog that you guys have just watched and realized that I never actually filmed an ending, which is good. I think I was very tired and very much looking forward to bed. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this little walk around Surrey. There's gonna be plenty more of those coming this year. We've really enjoyed it and I've just had a lovely walking jacket arrive today as well. So that's inspired me to look and plan some future ones. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I will catch you all very soon in any future videos. Thank you so much. Take care, bye for now.